All I'ma do is me and niggas stay focused. That's on period. Still don't know my narrative. Not came in my lifestyle till I'm riding on that chariot. Money coming in various forms. Shout out to my nigga, no he said the real. So one of the fastest growing artists coming out of Dayton, Ohio, moving to Los Angeles, lost the rapper. He reached out to me. He said, Andy, what can I do to increase my marketing, get in front of more people, and also turn my listeners into clients and buyers? How do I do that? So in this segment, you're going to learn how a rapper, how I'm focusing on giving a strategy session to a rapper going from just the artist to a businessman as well. Dude is booming on the internet, booming on social, growing his following, growing his clientele, and so many thousands upon thousands of people are listening to his music, and now it's about turning it into a business. So I'm gonna support him on scaling his business, right, starting the business, and also scaling his business in a short period, utilizing our system. Check that out in this segment. Don't fuck with it, gotta have a knife for it. Yeah, man, so, so look, the, the, the first thing is that we gotta look at what's the objective on the marketing campaign. So if we're gonna put any money behind marketing, we gotta look at like, what do we want on the back end? Like, how do we understand there's a return on our investment? So, so what return are you looking, like, what are you looking to have? You invest any money into marketing, what return, what are you looking to have on the other side? Okay. And the reason why I say reason why I say that is because this is gonna be a long term thing. Uh -huh. As far as like as far as me just in general, like as far as entertainment. So it's like right now I'm trying to build more of a, a fan base rather than immediate revenue. But I know that fan base is gonna turn into revenue. I'm talking loud. But I know that fan base is gonna turn into revenue eventually. So um, that's my biggest goal right now. Alright, uh, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And then so if we look, so you're focused on the following, on a certain platform? Facebook, Instagram, all over YouTube? All over, all over. Um, especially YouTube, especially YouTube, because I know YouTube, it, it translates to everything else. Instagram is trash, because Instagram don't really translate no more too much. Um, yeah. Facebook. Facebook's solid, but YouTube seemed like you got the, the strongest way to uh, translate outside of YouTube, where right. you cross over to Instagram or Twitter or the next platform. So YouTube, I would. Right. I mean, a lot of people probably could could probably discover you from from YouTube. So what what are you look, what are you looking to do with you know as far as the whole game in itself, like the the whole music? What 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 is your objective in the next five to ten years? Okay. But, but next time I dig that. I did. I ain't playing. I dig that. I re, I really want to speak on more of a six term, a six month span, rather than a a, a, a five ten year thing. The reason why is because uh, right now I'm fully invested. Like I'm, I'm talking about over fifty thousand dollars invested into this shit, into this stuff. So it's like whatever marketing strategies I choose, I'm trying to go hard at. It. It's not no like no half step, no put twenty dollars in, thirty dollars. Trying to put whatever the hell I gotta put into it. Mm -hmm. But I guess what I was reaching out to you more is that, like, is this something, oh my God, is this something, oh my God, is this something you can show me or educate me with as far as, like, um, different marketing schemes, inexpensive schemes that can translate from either out the country into this country, but, like, marketing, because it's like I'm just having trouble with consistent marketing. As far as like, uh, I'm trying to be specific. I need something to translate from out the country as far as like, because I know it's people who I will do stuff out the country where it's like, how can I explain? They just able to reach. You're talking, you're, talk, you're talking about workforce out the country? Like, like, like employees out the country? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, of course. Like, yeah, I can support. I have, I have 50 virtual assistants outside of the United States. Yeah. So automation. Automation, stuff with automation. That's another thing, automation, because you get to automation, like different automation systems. Yeah, 100%, 100%. So like when a customer purchases a product or listens to something or clicks a button in the email, we can send them down a whole track of, of information that seems like it's coming from Mandy or seems like it's coming from my team, 
but it's all automated, just based on what they clicked and so on and so forth. But you know, whenever we look at whenever we look at marketing, man, we just gotta look at what is our our objective. So look, six six months from now, where do you where does Laos want to be? Six months from now, six months from now, I need I need ten thousand strong followers. Okay. Ten thousand. That would be major to me. Like, so t t for 10,000 strong followers, you're talking about like having raving fans, like people who are constantly tuned in to, to launch your music. So we can do that one or two ways. Yes. The number one way is that we can depend on Instagram, where we could go to the Instagram and say, please put me in front of 10,000 people and hope for the best. And as we know, Instagram right now is going down. Or we could take in complete control of it. And how we take the way to, to, to give it up to Instagram is that you gotta post content that Instagram finds useful towards their objective, which is advertisement, and then allow them to do their thing organically. Or you gotta pay Instagram to get in front of more people. That's Instagram's route. If you want to take 100% ownership and control, we have to get data. And the specific data that we need to get, we need to get the people who listen to your music, their name, phone number, and email. I agree. So we need their name, phone number, email. So if, if all we're doing is putting a bunch of snippets out, let's just say we did a campaign that we're putting a bunch of snippets out. You, you're you just putting a bunch of little bits of music out and in order for them to get the whole thing, they gotta give up their email and you'll send it to them via email. Okay. Now by you sending it to them via email, now you have their email. So you can get 100% of your content right to them versus waiting on Instagram to potentially show uh, all your followers a portion of them your music. So that's how you're gonna get control of it. How many, fo how many followers do you have now? I've had like 23,000, 24,000, somewhere around there. So 20, 23,000, but out of that 23,000, how many do you think is actually seeing your content when you post? <laughs> Solid a thousand. Solid a thousand. Like the engagement. It, 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 we all, I, I do understand it's all about engagement. That's that's my key thing. Like the numbers, the the, 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 the follower number, that's literally just for 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 show to me personally. But but do you see how you're getting robbed? Do you see how you get when yeah, you got twenty three thousand and you only a thousand? You know, see it. I agree. I agree. I I, I I get that whole gimmick of everything. And, and what you were saying, one thing that really stuck out. To I mean, what you're saying is like that's really one thing I, I need to add to my uh, my arsenal. And I've been trying to do that, but I've been inconsistent. Like through email, what is it called? Chip or chip email or? Um, you're talking about you're talking about Mailchimp, but that's like you know buying a dynamic microphone from from Walmart for ten bucks, man. <laughs> okay. You, you feel me? Instead of instead of going to get a good condenser mic. I need more tactics. Where I need I need. Dope-ass tactics. Maybe I need to get on YouTube again and, and, and search the right thing, but I need dope tactics to get email blasts. My biggest thing is that I want to be able to send emails every day on random shit with, like, a whole a whole email list, even if it's just to regular people who don't even give a fuck about my music. But yeah. the whole point is that I need that my name Lance. I need my image of my face Lance. I want motherfuckers to click on that email every fucking morning and get tired of seeing my shit. Because when they when they get on Instagram and shit, they're going to see this shit again. They're going to see this shit again. I want them to see that shit all fucking day. And they, like, all day to the point where it's like, man, what the fuck is this nigga lost with this six in his neck? In his neck? That's my goal. I love that. I love that. I love that, man. I love that. So one tactic, man. Simple. For that 23000 you can hire a virtual assistant from outside the United States in the Philippines. Right? Hi, now my, my company and my entire company is ran by virtual assistants. So you can hire a virtual assistant. Now, now the reason I share that how my company is ran by them is that we do hundreds of thousands of dollars and the virtual team runs everything. So what I'm sharing with you is that they're trustworthy, they can produce. So you hire a virtual assistant to go through each, every single follower and act on your behalf, act, act on your behalf to engage, to, to, to engage with those people to engage and have a conversation with those people, bring them to a page, a web page, where in order for them to get your next mixtape for free, they gotta put their name, phone number, and email in. Gotcha, like shit like that, yeah. All right, so you got your, you got your virtual assistant saying, hey, go to get your, go, go, I'm, hey, I wanna give you my mixtape for free at no cost. Yeah. All I ask you is to go to the, get to the page, if you like it, give me a thumbs up on Spotify, or something like yeah. that, you know, or, or subscribe to Spotify. That, that's exactly, that's exactly what I need. 
And then in addition, um, I'm sorry I can cut you off though. Um, in addition, I also uh, I got about five Instagram pages. Okay. And out of all them five, one of them got eight thousand followers. Another one got five thousand followers. My main one got twenty three thousand followers. Um, my thing about it, like, I know how to work pages to send more traffic to myself, like to my main page. Mm -hmm. Where it's like all these pages are acting like my fan pages or bullshit pages, which is leading people to like my page either through bio or shout outs through, through the one page and stuff like that. Then I'm already starting up. I'm starting up uh, two main pages. I just started one last week. Mm. Um, we're building that one right now. So we trying to build up about like four main pages. But my biggest thing is like, because I'm going to bring revenue through the main pages eventually. eventually. Right. Not right now. Because they got to build. You know, I got to build the foundation when people want to start paying to vote three dollars to get their shit posted. But my, my biggest thing, I want to run a system of content to make sure I'm being consistent with or like, Somebody who will even work the pages with me or just have a whole better system of how those pages can be operated. that make any sense? Yeah, 100%. So y you can look at yourself as the person working or you can look at yourself as the worker. Like like putting like putting the strategy in and you delegate it out. That's the business owner. Uh, what I teach a lot of business owners through my training. Now, now mind you, I have clients who come in and own bakeries and they own marketing agencies and they're trying to learn how to grow their business. But I'm going to tell you the same thing like I tell them. A solopreneur is someone who does all the work. A business owner is someone who comes up with the strategy and then delegates it out to a team. So, for example, if you can come up with a strategy for each meme page, you can delegate that out to a virtual assistant. We have virtual assistants in my company. They, they the charge is seven fifty an hour, so seven dollars and fifty cents. So for one hundred and sixty okay. hours a month, you're talking about full time forty hours a week in your social media accounts is twelve hundred bucks the entire month. Okay. So if you if you have a system that makes money on the back end that can make at least fifteen hundred bucks a month, and they do it, that's a win. That's a profitable. That's, a that's profitable. So that's if if you're making three hundred dollars profit on each one. Cause, Cause, you're making fifteen hundred dollars. How many would you have? So, so you have one person. If, if one meme page can bring you, what you say you you was doing twenty bucks. You would, like how much? How much a meme page I, in I its see, prime? I can see saying start with well, my meme pages. I really see uh, starting off like twenty dollars for a post, like as we build it. Cause eventually, you know, when stuff get big after a year, or we had a, a crazy ass something that went viral, and we can just speed up the process. Those posts start going up to fifty to one hundred to five hundred dollars. Yeah, depending on depending on the like uh, how strong that page is. What once once the demand go up on these pages, that, that's like the new that's the new plug. Like it's been like that forever. I don't say new, but that's been like a plug. Like the mean pages, they they they, they change, they change. Not even mean pages, more like just content content posted. Uh, like like hip hop pages and shit. Right, like, right. That that are post all the news and all that good stuff or. Whoever you know, rap artists. Rap artists are probably the easiest people to make money off of in the world. And so, I've been doing that from engineering. So then, just just that, if you doing, if you did three deals at five hundred a month, that'll pay for your virtual assistant managing two to three meme pages. Yeah, but that that'll take about a that'll take like a year. That that'll be that's the the longer. How how how? It is more of a. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I mean, the does. Do you see an opportunity where you can get a return on a twelve dollars, twelve hundred dollar investment? I do, I do. And what do. what would you be doing to get that twelve hundred? Like, what would they do for you to get that twelve hundred? Um, they would definitely operate the main page, posting content. Okay. Uh, the consistency of posting content. So it's more like a. So I was thinking of a gimmick like like this, for example. Let's say, let's just say, like you ever heard of like say tees? I don't say cheese, yep. Um, and let's say let's say let's say World Star. Let's just say World Star Instagram, by the way. World Star. So basically what I'm thinking is that you create a meme page, get followers up, 
get the numbers up, make it look good on paper, right? The biggest thing is that we always have to, first of all, we always have to post the most, the, the, the relevant content about, like, the same stuff that Shade Room will post, the same mm-hmm. shit that World Star will post in the same day. We, we basically, like, follow on their strategy. They like, mimic them to the yeah. point where it's like, people, people, people get on their phone, but I love this, this. They always got all the good news. Like, yeah. The <laughs> yeah. But, but at the end of it, eventually, we become people's favorites. As that, as that, I ain't gonna say favorite. We become like a known thing that people always just go to. You know, they might be posting in their story, be like, "Look what happened to Lori Harvey" or whatever. Da 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 da. Right, right. But the thing about it is that eventually, it's like Shade Room. Shade Room make all their money off of people paying them for posts. Mm. Like people think, think, like you know, the average human think, like, "Oh my God, it's just news. It's really like they CNN news." But yeah, in reality, yeah. People, people paying for that shit. Everybody. Right, right, right. You wouldn't even imagine who paid, but you're like, well, who paid for putting this post up there? And that's, that's all propaganda. It's all it's all meant for a reason. So my biggest thing is, like, we got to build a foundation first. And that's what I, and even if I got to pay $1,200 or whatever I got to pay just to help build that up, even if I take an L, that's fine because it's, it's a future. It's an investment to me. So it's literally down the line with the plan. As the plan is operating, it's going to work. It's going to basically work to the point where it's going to be bringing a lot more than $1,500 a month. All right, and uh, I mean, do you have an assistant right now? Like, like you know, it, it, whether it's booking you on show, so you don't have you don't have anyone doing that for you. I don't. I got a person. I got a marketing. So I do got a marketing dude. He he's like a marketing genius. But the thing about the marketing genius of uh, his of his genius is like he's not with me physically every day, and he's not able to put in that work that we talk about right now. He just got dope ass fire ass concepts and plans. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And I'm. So, so what I'm proposing, man, is that we get you a virtual assistant that's 100% dedicated to you. Like, without a doubt, they 100%, they wake up thinking about Lance. And, and what's the name of your business? The name of the company? I like that. I like that. Wake up thinking about Lance. Um, <laughs> um, I got Red Eye Entertainment, LLC. Nah, so, so they're, they're focused, like their employees are Red Eye Entertainment. They're focused 100% on growing the brand. They're behind you 100%. So they work eight, for you eight to 10 hours a day, every single day. Okay. And then, and then when, they, when they're not working for you, they spend the time with their family. Okay. They, they, they're just going, you know, taking, I, I definitely need something like that. taking care of the kids. I like that. So what, what, that looks, what that looks like is that you pay your first and last month, and then I put you on a strategy call. with one of my team members and on that strategy call we put down like what your virtual assistant is going to be doing for you so in addition to the meme pages you may say hey look you know i, I want i want like when i pay you to come to your studio yeah. instead of me coming to you your virtual assistant is the one taking care of the payments and booking it for you so all you got to do is show up that's an example oh okay that's just harder that, that that's just an example so like they'll send the person the invoice get get you see the payment come through and all you gotta do is show up to the studio and and, and book, take, you know, do, do your thing at the studio. But they're the ones, you know, prowling out, getting you new deals. And and when you're in the studio, they may be calling Peso, they may be calling Andy, they may be calling your other artists and say, hey, um, hey, Relance has an opening on this Saturday. Do you want to come in for, you know, for a recording? Highly interested, bro. I'm highly. I want to talk to my guy who I told you. He lives really like my partner. He lives in Ohio. He about to move here. Uh, he moved here the first week of March. Okay. And, um, he's. Everything is gonna be cut up a whole nother notch because I'm gonna have somebody physically here with me every day. But that virtual assistant sounds like a win-win situation overall. Yeah, I, I think I think for you know for what you're sharing is like you got a lot on your plate. You like you got different different strategies and different tactics. I think the first solution would be getting them off, getting those strategies off of your plate. And instead of you doing it, you delegate it out. You have someone else do it for you. And then okay. I'll work with you on like the, the smaller the smaller deals, like for example, like setting up your SendGrid account and and get your get you email blasting, creating your landing pages, your web pages, and so on and so forth. So that way, when people opt in to get your music, you get the email. So that way, in in, in a couple months, whether you you say you say, hey, I want to create apparel, you send a text message out to all of them, and they can buy your clothes right there instantly. That's that shit I want. I love that shit. When I go to somebody's stage and they make me end up fighting and they start, if they end up fighting for my information, then I start hearing random ass texts. That's the shit I'm trying to do. That's literally what I want to do. Yeah, so we use we use text magic for that. So, I mean, it's it's, it's real simple. It's real simple. You can text 100 people. You can text 1,000. You can text 15,000 um, at one time, and it looks like it's coming from Lance. 
individually. Yeah, it'll say it'll say, Hey John, hey Brittany, hey Tim, this is Lance, what's up? And then they'll be like, How you get my number? Or da, 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 da. And then your virtual assistant can then have the the the, the conversation with them and you just get in the sales. By the way, that's why when you hit me up on Instagram, I said, ha, 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 I was crying. I don't know if you peeped, bro. You, it, was like a, it was like a quick reply type thing. Like, please tell me what you do for uh, da, 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 da. It's not automated. It's actually, it's, actually, it's actually a person from Latin America. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm highly interested. If we can um, go run your errands and everything, but if we can confirm everything, uh, like, just give me a couple of days. And I'm, I'm really highly interested, bro. I'm not even BSing you, bro. I just got to, I want to talk to my homie, and I want to make sure I got all, every. I want to. I want to do. Uh, I want that virtual assistant to do. I want to write down a whole list of stuff that I that I know I need to have done. All right. So why, why don't we start? Why don't we start like this? Can you get me a list um, tonight? Just you know, just a quick text list of like, yo, this is what I want my what, what, what my, my VA to do for me. Because now we're turning just from just from the art. Because because what I see in you now is I see a lot of people who are artists, but I don't see a lot of people who are entrepreneurs or business owners. In the music game. Nah, most people not. Most people not. I, not really, I tell you, I've been in the music game for over 10 years, like, doing this shit. And I do, I've been trying to teach peso. I've been trying to teach peso different tactics on how to, like, get a following. And, like, how to go viral. Not even viral, more in line. Like, just, to, just to show people, like, take your shit seriously so they can take you seriously. Right, right. And, and this, the business part is literally the hardest part. The music part is the easiest part. Like, that's not a, that's not the hard part. That's the easy part. It's the marketing behind it, just to make sure the record do something. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you over. You said send you over a list of all the things. Yeah, like, like, like you would have you would have someone overseas do for you. Like, hey, I need them to uh, manage the meme pages. I need them to schedule my, uh, my 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 people coming to me. I need you know all the different things that 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 you want your 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 assistant to be doing for you. Yeah, just put that in the list together. Got you. Hey, look, man, you're a great salesman. I'm going to give you your props, man. I, I told you, I, I be talking high on you, bro, all the time. Man, I hope it's all, po I hope it's all positive high. things, man. I said hi. It's got to be positive. Oh, you said, you said hi? hi? Highly? Yeah, hi. Yeah, highly, yeah. Oh, I appreciate you, man. You still going to church? Nah, I have, you know, it's COVID, man. Yeah. I go every Thursday. Yo, you know, I'm, I'm not in LA no more. You know that, right? I'm in Vegas. I moved after the riots. I moved. I moved oh, out of LA. Oh yeah, you, oh yeah, you get money. Yeah, you get money there. I already know what you want. <laughs> I know what you want. You hear me? I know what you want. I know what you want. All right, G. I'm gonna holler at you on, on, on Thursday at, at two o'clock. I'll give you a call. All right. So this is this is yes. Let me put this on over here. So this is when I built a relationship with. I invested into him first. So I invested into his business. And then he saw what I was doing. So he runs a music business. And one of my biggest loves is music, right? I love rapping. That was one of my first love. So I invested into his business and hired him to be a producer, an engineer for me. Then he followed me on social media. We built a relationship. And then he said, hey, man, I need your support in the marketing. So now we came up with a strategy where we'll implement a virtual assistant to run his marketing for him. We'll give him the marketing strategy to run his marketing for him. In addition to that, take a workload off. So now he's going from a solopreneur, someone who's doing all the work, pressing all the buttons to being a business owner and running a system with the support of a virtual assistant. All right?